Any last words, Mr. Preston? Yes, Jack. Any superlative words of inspiration for our humble troops? Do not pray for easy lives, my friends. Pray to be stronger men. Shalom to the elect and the one third of the children of Israel. This is Providence in Babylon, Tampa Bay, Florida. My name is Bella Daniela by my side. Brother Ashar. Double honors to the teachers and the head apostles of the great millstone of well. Peace and salutations to the Akim are pushing out this work of truth and sincerity. Also, Brakata to the Aquathim who are listening as well. All right. Do not pray for easy lives. Pray to be stronger men. Do not pray for easy lives. Pray to be stronger men. All right. JFK quoting Reverend Philip Brooks during remarks at presidential prayer breakfast, February 7th, 1963. Okay. So um, last night uh, I was scrolling on YouTube. You know, uh, you know, I was scrolling on YouTube and I came across uh, an old video game that I used to play when I was in high school. It was, it was a well-known video game called Call of Duty Black Ops 2. And uh, they had a, a level where uh, uh, John F. Kennedy and like some other historical uh, people from the past, you know, at the times of war, were together. And he quoted, which you saw in the beginning of this video, that he quoted something very powerful at the time that I was, you know, you know, fighting, you know, you know, fighting demons, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, just remaining in a content, you know, energy within my, uh, you know, within my mind. He said, do not pray for easy lives, pray to be stronger men, you know what I'm saying? And that, uh, and, and, and that clicked with my spirit because we're, we're fighting to be, uh, a true men of the Lord and, uh, and this life isn't easy. So knowing that this life isn't easy, we must ask the Lord to help us to endure, endure his chastisements, endure everything of what we're going through. So when he said, do not pray for easy lives, pray to be stronger men. You know, I felt that, you know, and uh, he actually quoted that, you know, in, 1960, uh, in 1963. So I was like, wow, that's that's powerful that, that he put it in a video game where a lot of people don't think that video games are beneficial in, in some areas, but it's funny how they put that in the game. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's a lot of scripture relating to that quote. You can bring out a uh, Sirach chapter two, verse one. Con, this is the book of Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus chapter two and verse one. My son, if thou come to serve Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, Prepare thy soul for temptation. He said, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. The Lord giving us a warning. If you come to serve me, prepare yourselves uh, for temptation. Prepare yourselves for uh, trials and tribulations. Prepare to lose certain things in your life or all the things of your life. Be prepared to be broken down and be built back up. Be prepared to be put in the furnace of adversity so you can become um, chances and, and, and higher chances through him that you will become uh, uh, refined gold when you come out of that furnace, man. You know, as the scripture says, for many are called, but few are chosen. You know, he, he's, he's only choosing a few to be acceptable men to, to, go through the, to go through the furnace of adversity. All right. To be tried as silver or as gold. All right. And that's what the brothers are going through, the path of difficulties. Cool. Uh -huh. And also what the brother was mentioning, this whole course is only for the elect. Because right. only the elect will be able to triumph over this path that, that you know, we're all walking, man. And we hope to be of that number. That's why we call ourselves the hope for elect. It's only built for them. Mm -hmm. So we just hope that we can constantly endure. I got a precept. Go ahead. This is the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 14 and verse 14. Let go from thee mortal thoughts. Mm -hmm. Cast away the burdens of men. So we got to let go from the mortal, th the mortal thoughts that we was born into, man. This fleshly mindset, man. All right. That took hold of us. All right. But now that we were quickened in the spirit by getting this truth in this word. All right. Now we're in the spirit. 
And we got to be able to constantly battle in the spirit and not let the flesh overtake us, man. Because as it's written, the spirit's with the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Correct. So where if we keep those mortal thoughts on us, it's going to make us weak in this fire that we're in. All right. So that's why we have to let go from the mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of man, put off now that weak nature. Because mm -hmm. if we are suited with this type of thought and mindset, it's a weak nature to have. So that's why there's a purpose to let it go, man. And the brother was mentioning before while we, we were speaking before this class, we were talking about the, the camel and the needle of the eye. Come on, all come right. On. The baggage. That's correct. correct. So it's, it's making us more what? Less of weight on us in this walk, in this journey, man. That's right. You know, and, uh, and, and, uh, and those who don't understand that, uh, uh, you know, uh, the need, the needle, the needle is the wall that the camel goes through, uh, uh, uh like goes through to get in, uh, like to get inside of the city. You know, but for the for, for that camel to get through that hole, through that wall, it has to get rid of the baggage. All right, and the baggage is, uh, your, your career, your your uh, your former life, everything that you, uh, you know, cleave on to, you're gonna have to let it go. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know uh, Matthew 19 and uh, you know Matthew 19 uh. I think verse 30 explains about if we forsake all these things, we will gain a hundredfold in the end. So you can read that on your own, you know? So that's all the things that we have to forsake. Cool. And, also, and, and also 1 John 2, 15, love not the world. You know the things that are in the world. You know what I'm saying? Because we must build treasures in the heavens and not the, and, and not on earth. Okay? Con, and, and that shows you, you know, that we have it starts in the mind, man. That's right. So you have to let it go in your mind first. Gone. Continuing, verse fifteen says, "And set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee." See, so that was showing you, you know, in a journey, in a trip, you know, you want to have light baggage, man. You don't, you want to be light in that trip because it said these thoughts are most heavy unto you, man. The burdens of men, all right, the mortal thoughts. It says, continuing on verse fifteen, it says, "And haste thee to flee from these times." So that's the purpose, man. You want to be able to flee. You want to be able to escape. And how are you going to be able to escape? Through the spirit and power. Yeah, how about Shmuel Shah? That's only if he's dealing with you. So that's why we have to follow this path, this straight and narrow path, man. So that way he can deal with us and uh, refine us, man. All right? To make us these acceptable men. So in the times of trouble, we'll be able to call on his name and he will be able to deliver us. That's our power, man. The power of deliverance, man. And that's why Yahweh Shah's name in the Paleo Hebrew is he saves, he delivers, man. That's right. So that's the whole purpose. All right. I got a precept real quick, though. Let me get it in 2 Timothy. Mm -hmm. This is the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2, and verse 3. It reads, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. So thou endure hardness. The hardness of this life, because you know, we've always been told this life isn't easy, and we found out the hard way, especially as you know, as Jacob, as Jake, we uh, you know, life was hard from the get go, man. Some harder than others, you know what I'm saying? And and you know, and it's toughening us up, man, you know what I'm saying? But endured the hardness because times that we're living in right now, it's going to get harder, you know what I'm saying? Right now, America's living off of last year's harvest. And right now, there's barely any harvest for next year. You know what I'm saying? And all these other things, like uh, uh, like food plants being uh, destroyed. So next year, they're going to have to live off of what 2022 has to bring. And, that's and there's barely going to be anything. So times are going to get harder and harder and harder. And we must endure the hardness as a, as a good soldier through your house. Go ahead. Come on, verse four. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life. Go ahead. And that goes into the things that's in this world, man. The affairs, all right? Relationships that you may have, all right? The bills, payments, how you're going to be able to uh, stay alive in this world, all right? Guess who's going to keep you alive? Yeah, how about Shemel Shah? That's right. And that starts with the faith, man. Mm -hmm. And there, you cannot please Yahweh about Shemel Shah if you don't have faith, man. That's right. Without faith, it is impossible to please him, man. Yeah, Hebrews 11 and, and 6. Gone. Gone. You can read that whole chapter yourself, man. It talks about faith. 
All right. So that shows you that you have to put your trust in your how about your shot and let go everything else that you you was brought up in. All right. Let it all go. It says that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. So we was chosen. You know, we was called in this thing and we want to be chosen, man. All right. To be that soldier, that perfect soldier. All right. The one that's able to endure all hardness all the way to the end, man. That's the purpose and the goal, man. That's our uh, destination, man. That's, That's where we're headed. And at the end will be what? The kingdom of Yahweh Shemal man, on earth as it is in heaven. Mm -hmm. Dominion and rulership. That's right. And we want to partake in that and be that joint heirs with Yahweh Shemal when he returns. Correct. And that goes into uh, 1 Peter. Let me grab that. 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 13. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind. Gird up the loins of your mind. And notice how in Job 38 and 3, it says, gird up the loins as a man, you know? And I'll demand of thee, you know. But this one, number uh, this one was an, it was another order to gird up the loins of your mind. Go ahead. Be sober. Be sober, meaning stay in the spirit. All right. Always stay in the spirit, man. Go ahead. And hope to the end mm -hmm. for the grace that is to be brought onto you at the revelation of Yahweh Mashiach. God, and we must hope to the end, man, because we are prisoners of hope. We hope in his mercy. We hope for salvation, you know, and, and we're waiting for Yahusha, uh, uh Hamashiach to come back for us to stay strong. You, um, you got anything more on that? Uh, uh, you got anything to else? add? Yeah. yeah, it says hope to the end. As it's written, he that endured to the end, the same shall be saved. So that's where our mindset should be at, okay, at all times, man, you know. You know, it's a fight, though. But with that, Yahweh Rizal, this was edifying. Call Halal. Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah Ba'ashim, Rakakwadash. Until next time we say, Shalom, DTA, Abad Babal, soon.